Hi, my name is Jackie. I am a barn technician at the SPCA for Monterey County. Welcome. This is Cuervo. He's one of our wonderful adoptable horses here at the SPCA. Cuervo is a nine-year-old quarter horse gelding, and he is such a gentleman, which is why we're using him for this video. So today, we will be learning how to halter and lead horses. Okay, so before we get started, the parts of the halter that are really important, this is the crown piece. The buckle is right here. It's always gonna be on the left side of the halter. The nose band is what fits over the nose. On these halters, they have two large buckles on either side of the nose band. That's a good cheat to know which piece the nose band is. You have our cheek pieces, and then last but not least, you have the throat latch. The lead rope connects to the bottom of the nose band. So before you approach the horse, you'll want to have your halter untangled and ready to go. So you'll hold the buckle and the crown piece in your hand. The nose band will be hanging. The lead rope comes off of the bottom. So you'll start like this. You'll approach the horse. The lead rope will go over and around its neck. That way you have some control over the horse. I've already done this so he doesn't walk away from the camera. So the very first thing you do is when you approach, pet them, say hello, let them know that you're there. Make sure their heads are up. And then holding the buckle and the crown piece in your left hand, you're gonna put your right hand over their neck, like you're kind of giving the horse a giant hug. You're gonna give yourself the crown piece and put the crown piece over the neck. Do you see that? And then my buckle is still in my left hand. After that, you grab the noseband, drop the buckle, and carefully ease the noseband up and over their nose making sure not to catch their nostrils with it. They don't like that very much. Next, you'll buckle the halter, tuck your strap in, and the horse is haltered. Make sure each side is even, and you're gonna want these buckles to be about two to three fingers below their cheekbone. So when we lead the horse, our hands are gonna be holding the lead rope, my left hand is going to be holding my extra lead rope. It's important though that the lead rope is draped over my hands like this, as opposed to having it wrapped around my hand like this. If the horse were to try to run away, my fingers are going to get caught in that lead rope and that's not a good thing. My right hand is going to be doing most of the leading. My palm is going to be facing towards the ground. I'm going to have a secure grip on the lead rope, my pinky towards the horse. Now the horses like it best when you have a length of lead rope away from their head. That way they feel free. That's as opposed to holding them like this right underneath the halter. They feel a little claustrophobic when you try to lead them like that. So I'm going to have a length of lead rope and I'm just going to walk off, right? I might cluck to him to wake him up. Come on, Corvo. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you down here at the barn.